Hello ladies and gents, I am Alan Diffin, and welcome back to the secondaries of round 3 of the Cube Boat Tournament by Heresy. In this bout we have Lord Theodore Thomas Blackwell III by Heresy facing off against the High Duke by Cryosias. Over here we have Lord Theodore Thomas himself, the very dapper duck with the cram cannon in his beak and the atomically correct neck so he is unable to turn all the way around. A little duck feet at the rear there. Mm, lovely little... <clears throat> or oh, is it a chick? Hmm. Is it a duck or a chicken? Intriguing. Of course it's a duckling. It's swimming. If it's a duck... If it is a chicken it's trying to swim, I'm sure it wouldn't be doing so well as it is in this tournament. Over here we have the High Duke. Uh, the Dapper Penguin riding atop. Is mighty steed the cat or mouse? Is it a cat or a mouse? It's kind of cross between the two. It's very cat like features, but also kind of reminds me of Tom and Jerry. Um, in fact, both parties in Tom and Jerry, so I'm not entirely sure who it reminds me more either Tom or Jerry. Regardless, we have the penguin with the cram cannon in his head. Firing out against Lord Theodore Thomas. So, let's see which dapper design will be the most victorious in this battle. Find out in 3, 2, 1, go. First shot comes out from the High Duke, followed shortly after by Lord Theodore. High Duke falls short, and the. <coughs> and Next shot comes in, falls slightly to the side of the Dapper Duck. Lord Theodore lines up for another shot. Fire against the High Duke. And gets a hit squarely on the cat steed. But in retaliation, Lord Theodore is hit in the wing. He breaks his neck and he, the AI is damaged, so he is unable to aim at the moment. High Duke is trying to capitalise on this fact and is firing against the disabled Lord Theodore. Lord Theodore's erratic movements are making it very difficult for the High Duke to get an aim. In the moment, Lord Theodore will repair and then make a strong strike against the High Duke it seems. There we go, it's aimed and fires immediately. Falls slightly behind the High Duke. High Duke fires once more and hits the rear of the Dapper Duck. This does not disable the Crown Cannon, which is getting ready to fire. And it's lining up for another shot. Ooh, a solid hit though at the rear. Retaliated though against a rear, shot against the rear here. Both designs have been hit quite strongly now. Though Lord Theodore is seems to be taking the brunt of it and is now slowed down to a crawl. This will make it an easy strike against for the High Duke. But the repair bots are working overtime to keep him in the fight. Lord Theodore lining up for another strike and the cavern cannon is ready to fire. It hits again at the rear. But there's not many components there which matter. And High Duke misses. But is now getting around behind Lord Theodore, which means that he will not be able to turn his neck to face him. This is going to give the High Duke several shots with its cram cannon to shoot against the Dapper Duck, maybe claim victory. Dapper Duck is ready to fire, so long as it can actually get a shot off. But its rear end being shot at and turning the incorrect direction to face the High Duke, this is going to be difficult. However, the High Duke gets back into line of fire and misses its target. Well, Theodore is carefully lining up, but is unable to get a good shot off. Is this going to be the end for the Dapper Duck? Looks 
like it could very well be. The High Duke is skimming fast around behind the Dapper Duck once more, making it so he cannot aim because his neck will not turn all the way behind himself like an owl. But he fires again, but again this falls slightly behind the High Duke. Shot just skimming slightly over his hat. If that was a much taller top hat, he may well have been hit. Another shot there, hitting the internal components, possibly breaking something important. Looks like some of the ammo storage may have been detonated there. High Duke, though, is back up to 100% and is completely hammering Lord Theodore as he passes around behind him once again. Lord Theodore lining up for a shot, but it seems like the AI may have been damaged, preventing him from taking the shot. Another strike to Lord Theodore, taking out the last of the AI. Victory to the High Duke by Cryosias. Congratulations.